Right. Okay. My name is Kai. What is your name? My name is Tom. Oh, hi, Tom. Hi, Kai. Uh, can you describe the sound piece with young people's voices, please? So we asked some young people questions about metamorphosis as they were playing one of our games. And uh, from their answers, we took the recordings and we put them together in one track. But then we kind of mixed that with an ambient backing and sounds of radio frequencies coming in and out, like a radio and static and stuff. And then we made the voices kind of disappear and then it reappear. So it sounded like they were being listened to through some kind of broken radio. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the voices kind of came in and out. And we made it sound like those are the voices of uh, distant rebels, uh, people from our group that have gone missing. We we're trying to tune into them. Oh, cool. Right. <laughs> what software did you use to make it? We used a program <laughs> called Logic. It's a music maker program you can get on Apple Macs. It's an excellent program. We use it all the time. Cool. Can you describe the constellation piece, please? Right. The constellation piece is a map that we made. Um, instead of using, I did, wait, I, <coughs> the big Dundee map. Yeah. 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 I did. I was painting that as well. Okay. Cool. So <coughs> before it was painted, we asked a, a lots of young people to think of a memory or an experience they'd had in Dundee. I did. I picked the wreck. Yeah, what happened there? Yeah, there's a story attached to the rep, wasn't there? Yeah. Right, so basically the constellation is... I don't know, I think so. Is, imagine you have a map of a place, and then you have the, the memory of the young person, so you, your memory is at the rep. So mm. we pinpoint that on the map with that memory attached, but then we remove all the roads, all the images of the roads. And what you're left with is these dots of memories, and, uh, dots with memories attached to them. And that becomes, it looks like a constellation of stars. Ah. <clears throat> so that's what the constellation map was. Oh, that's cool. Um, so it was made with lots of different stuff. <clears throat> okay. Using what software? Mainly Photoshop for the constellation. However, oh. an added dimension to the uh, digital layering of the map was um, a kind of sound a piece of music that was made, made by uh, placing sonic nodes on the points of the constellation and sending pulses through it. And we use a program called Node Player for that. <coughs> so that was really that was a really nice dimension to it. Okay. Why did we uh, add the propaganda to the narrative and what did I feel it added dry as to the experience? I got it, I got this. Um, okay, so the game was like a treasure hunt that people who were there on the day playing the game Kai I used to get my hair done uh -huh, super <laughs> important uh, was uh, a, an exciting adventure into Dundee uh, looking wow. for <laughs> looking for uh, pieces of a puzzle right and that was all good we'd hidden all the pieces we'd had all the clues that was all ready but what was missing was a kind of exciting reason to do it so <coughs> quite late in the pro in the making of the game we thought it would be a good idea to have uh, a kind of story that the young people played in, like a kind of narrative, uh, uh, like a narrative to play through. And that story was that there was a um, political structure in place that was really imposing its will on the people, and it was really limiting people. It didn't want them to change. It's all tied into the metamorphosis theme. It didn't want anyone to be strange or individual or unique. It wanted everyone to be the same, right? Change was bad. And in order to kind of pu push this message home, we made a whole bunch of posters that made it look like there was this kind of political system in power. <coughs> and so it was a bit like the Empire in Star Wars. So that made us like the rebellion, right? So, so we gave everyone a kind of background story 
and told everyone that in order to defeat the empire, essentially, they were called Boron Stasis, um, they had to go out and find these clues that were left by the last members of the rebellion um, and their last mission. And that got everyone kind of pumped up and excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't... Oh, okay. Can you describe the sound piece with young people's voices, please? Hi, Kai. <laughs> what? I asked your question. <laughs> right. You've discovered a new colour. What would you call it? I'd call it Kai. Why Kai? Because it's an awesome name. Oh. <laughs> this question's not related to it. Like, just to clarify. So, Thanks. cube head or pyramid head? Pyramid head. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is that right? <laughs> no. I know. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Well, <and laughs> Am I doing your head in? <laughs>